Yeah. I might have to quit trucking. YouTube, what is good? What's up, man? Welcome back to the channel. You guys are here with your boy, Hotshot Mac. As you guys can see by the title of this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about why it's possible I might have to quit Hotshot Trucking. It's not clickbait, you know what I'm saying? This is real, this is what's going on. Excuse the extra background noise that y'all might hear. We got Hope over here sleeping and snoring. We got wife in the background working in the office. It's gonna be a quick and short video, just kind of give you guys an update of what's going on and why it may be possible that I may have to quit Hotshot Trucking, so stay tuned. So let's jump right into the video. A couple weeks ago, I came up on my two year mark of having to redo my physical exam. You need to have a valid medical certificate in order to operate a commercial vehicle. My two years came up uh, a couple weeks ago in early November. So what happened was I went to the office that I you know, originally went to to get my physical done and I happened to almost fail the physical exam because the reading on my blood pressure was high. My reading came back about 171 over, 171 over like 110, 111. I felt like I went in there calm, like, you know, I was ready for it, I've been through it before, but for some reason it was high. You know, the doctor asked, what did I eat? Have I been stressing and, and things like that? So it came back high and we tested it about three times. And to be honest, you know, they probably could have failed me for it, but what they did was they said, hey, we're gonna give you three months to get get your blood pressure under control. And this was a shock to me because, I mean, of course, there's no, I don't have any symptoms. I don't have anything to indicate that, you know, my blood pressure is high. Part of the reason I'm doing this video is also for awareness to let you guys know in this industry that we're in and being on the road and driving for all these hours and, you know, lack of sleep and, and stress, especially as a owner operator, these are things that you want to keep up with throughout the year, just over time, if you plan to keep this career going. They did the testing about three times and the lowest I think was like 156 over 90 something. So um, what was crazy is immediately when I went home, my wife was in the medical field before she hopped over into the trucking industry and she always keeps a blood pressure monitor on us at all times. Unfortunately at the time, the one that we had broke. So I didn't even think to test before going in just because we had so much going on. Right after I got the test and she heard about it, boom, she ordered one the next day. I think it came the same day. So so that came in and then we tested it and it came back. It was still on the higher side, but it was still, it was low enough to give me another two year certificate. Right now I was given three months. Huh? I want you to Babe, the test that we did and that I, uh, the results I got was 130 over 80 something, which is low enough to give me another two years on my physical. It's still not the best, it's still not the lowest. I have stuff to work on. I have, you know, a lot of things as far as how I've been eating on the road, exercising. Like I said, we've been sit, we sit behind the wheel for hours at a time. And even if we do eat, we're just sitting there. So pretty much what I'm gonna do in order to avoid getting out of the truck and having to pretty much quit, I gotta get it under control. So we're taking certain measures, you know, exercising, getting in the gym, eating better, you know, making a lifestyle change so that I'm not having these issues. I'm not having to worry about the possibilities of not being able to drive. This is my medical certificate that y'all can see right here. And if you see the date that I was given, the doctor kind of wrote it wrong. It's actually February, but what happened was we submitted it this way. So we actually have, what's that, two months to retest? This is what it is, man. My physical 
might be kicking me out of the truck. Wifey's been strict, y'all see she's been preparing my meals. Hit me up, baby, taking your vitamins. Not everyone has that support, but it's important to, to keep in mind those things, especially like in this industry and this thing that we're in, because we may look healthy, we may feel healthy, we may act healthy, you know, all of that, but we still, behind the scenes, may just not have things right. So it's important that you're doing your, your, your checkups frequently. Order one of these, man. Order one of these uh, blood pressure machines. 20 bucks, you know, we'll have it linked in the description, y'all know, to be in the Amazon store. And we check it frequently. Ever since I left there, we've been checking, you know, wifey's got me checking it like three times a day. It's been more or less stable, but again, I still would like to bring it lower, even though it's it will allow me to pass. So yeah, man, that's why there's really a possibility of me not being able to drive. The company will still be, of course, going, you know, we're not gonna shut down just because I can't drive because we can always put someone in the truck and we do have other, you know, things that we do in the industry as a source of income, it's not just the truck. But for me, this is just my thing that might get me out of the truck, which I'm not planning for, I'm not hoping for, I'm hoping that you know like again i can get this under control and i won't have this issue but it's still on a, poss a possibility just want to make you guys aware and keep you guys up to date but i don't want to get out of trouble for this reason you know what i'm saying so we're gonna definitely work on it so after the whole physical went down and you know i got the results of course wifey booked me a, an appointment i think the following day the next couple of days to go see a, a, my, a primary doctor which we did after i did my test there and i did my blood pressure and you know other things that they checked out they wanted to put me on medication to lower those numbers. I'm not the one to take medication. I don't like doing that. So of course, wifey and I came up with what can we do to work on bringing that down the natural way. Exercising, lifestyle changes as far as, you know, the food you eat, stop buying that crap at the truck stops, meal prepping, and taking your vitamins. All those things will help. And it's, it's hard, man. I know it's hard because y'all know on the road when you're running and, you know, you're tired and you want to do the quickest thing to grab some McDonald's or whatever it is, you got to stay out of them places, like, for real, because because it's not only your blood pressure, you're talking about, you know, diabetes. There's a ton of other things that come in with that. So those are things I'm working on, man. Less carbs, cutting out sugars. I love to snack, I love sweets. So that's really hard for me to do. I think I'm having withdrawals, but it is what it is. It's either I do that or, you know what I'm saying, I risk my health, you know, deteriorating. So as entrepreneurs, we forget about those things. Whether you have health insurance or not, go pay out of the pocket and go to your doctor and do your checkup. Us men, you know, our egos, you know, think don't allow us do that we think that we're good we think that nothing can affect us we can't have any problems you got to get out of that mindset and think that it is possible it's, i think that kind of wraps it up you know i just wanted to kind of give you guys an update it's real like it, it is this is possible and it's not talked about a lot where your health can put you out of the truck and put you out of this game that goes to also say don't just depend on a truck or just driving a truck start thinking about other things you can do in the industry even if it's not in the industry other sources of income because these things are possible i'm hoping things change around i'll keep you guys updated when i do go ahead and retest hopefully i do get another two years which i know i'm gonna do because we've been doing better definitely keep those things in mind man so that you don't have to worry about these things like you know i'm doing right now for those watching man mac transport and logistics we are not going anywhere um i don't want this to give you guys a thought where man we shutting down or something like that now this is just me i'm a driver the company still remains we didn't start something like this just to quit you know what i'm saying we'll always persevere and we always maneuver through whatever situation that's gonna wrap up this video man i appreciate you guys for tuning in like i said just wanted to keep it 100 with you guys and let you guys know what's going on with us or with me appreciate you guys for tuning in if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up if you are new to the channel it does not hurt to subscribe i got so much more coming for you guys on this channel been super busy you know i appreciate the love and the support over the time until next time we will see you guys in the next video peace